We're going to have a guest now, a lady who's a psychologist, a highly experienced TV and radio presenter. I'm looking at a photograph of her. She's a fine-looking human being. She's got an engaging style and manner. And hopefully she'll tell us, among other things, what the hell's wrong with us. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with us? Please welcome to our radio show, Emma Kenny. Kenny, and for 15 years I've been combining two of my greatest passions, adventure and therapy. I use the wilderness as my therapy room and extreme environments to get to the bottom of relationships in crisis. This is extreme adventure therapy. Well, I've made no secret about my views. In a society where kids are more unhappy than ever, how can pitching girls against each other and judging them on their appearances ever be good for well-being? Well, now I've been invited to my first pageant and I can't wait to see for myself. Emma is a behavioural psychologist. We've designed this experiment to prove that science can help you find love and that by carefully measuring compatibility, you're a lot more likely to find somebody who's just right for you. The things that I advise all of my clients to do that is cheap, it is completely accessible and it's literally available everywhere is to get outside with nature. People like to believe that they would never be susceptible to a call. Police matched fingerprints linking Richard Ramirez to all the murders. murders. They murdered them, they tortured them. He was a disciple of the devil. Individuals who murder also belong to families. With 15 years experience dealing with teenagers' love lives, counsellor Emma Kenny knows the difficulties they can face. So many young people struggle to find somewhere to talk about their feelings, but when they're given the opportunity, it's amazing how much better they feel. We have created this whole generation of young people who believe that they are on high alert. Somebody may phone, somebody's disaster might happen, so they have to have access. I want them to understand that whilst there are people out there who harm you, there are also people out there who want to heal you and want to feel so part of that journey with you. So when I go home, I tend to indelibly just feel like I'm privileged. Psychologist Emma Kenny works with victims of domestic abuse in her clinics and has been looking into this case. Carly stopped seeing her friends, stopped going out, withdrew to her room for long periods of time. It's this rationalisation in life of how can this be? It can't really have happened. It must be you that's the problem because then I don't have to orchestrate any change in my life. So you can see that in that moment of that inception that people just want to hold everything together. And also there's a real sense here, to be honest, on a separate level of control, Claire. He's controlling your finding out with a reaction of blaming you. That's actually pretty dangerous and sinister behaviour. I imagine that... Anybody losing a child will feel their world ends, but for somebody like Claire, it really did. Everything ended. How do you even begin to rebuild that? How do you even begin to wake up every single morning knowing, knowing that that happened? <laughs> 